Good morning and welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer RV of Frederick. My name is Callie Say and I'm here on this very snowy day at TransWest and Horse Trailer Sales. So for those of you that aren't familiar with us, we are just about 30 minutes north of Denver off I-25. It is a nice spring day in Colorado, so we're going to tour this really cool Cimarron trailer that was a custom order so you guys can get inspired for some some summer riding. So let's go check it out. All right. So this is actually a trailer that was modeled off of one of the inventory trailers that we had on our lot. And the person that bought this trailer, they were really interested in the one that we had here, but it didn't just it just didn't put, tick quite enough boxes. We really tried to make that other one work, but in the end the solution really became to build one just like it with some modifications. So, some things you'll notice. Some of the things we carried over was this V-nose. The V-nose is a really great feature. Number one, it improves your turning radius. Number two, it gives you increased fuel economy. So, especially right now, that's really important. I know that some of our um, tests that we've done, we've seen about three miles per gallon better on these V-nose trailers. And, it just cuts through the air really aerodynamic so you can't really feel it behind you. So we really, really like these V-nose trailers. The trade-offs are if you ever plan on throwing a bed up in the nose or anything like that, you do cut down on your space and your storage. So I love pulling V-nose trailers and especially a trailer this size. This one is 7'10 tall, 6'10 wide. You're really not even going to notice it's behind you. So it's a really, really cool option. Some other things you'll notice, electric over hydraulic jack, that's a must have. Um, it's not really that, that hard on this trailer to crank it up and down, but it's so much easier just to press a button and run that jack up and down. So electric over hydraulic jack has a manual override, so if you ever let your batteries go dead, which I'll show you guys on this one, she's never going to have that problem, um, then you can at least get it on, on and off your truck without an issue. So. In this battery here, you've got your battery box, your battery disconnect, and then up here, you'll see that she actually equipped it with a solar charger. So that solar charger will charge her battery while it's collecting sunlight so that it can trickle charge it. She doesn't have to worry about having a dead battery when she goes to hook up. So really cool little feature there. The spare is up high. And that is because of this electric over hydraulic jack. You've got your little, your little button right here to let change the direction of the, the jack if you have to manually override it. Just makes it a lot easier if the spare is nice and out of the way. The spare is the same as what is on the ground. So you have an aluminum wheel. We don't cheap out on the spares and go with a steel wheel. Everything is the standard aluminum wheel on this trailer. It's still nitrogen filled. And we recently switched to Goodyear. Uh, on, on these size wheels, which is really cool, so we can go domestic on these things. So as we work our way around, kind of some more dimensions for you. This trailer is 20 ha 24 and a half inches on the floor. Uh, sorry, 24 and a half feet on the floor. Uh, so this is a standard size for our, for our two plus one trailers. It gives you a five foot front tack and plenty of room in the stall area. Something she added to this trailer in particular was she wanted a butterfly latch on that tack room door. She's had instances in the past with trailers where maybe she doesn't latch this all the way and then the door comes flying open. So she likes having that extra stability of that butterfly latch right there. Hold back clips are now all on a swivel, so they're so much easier to use. I don't know if you guys have ever messed with the ones that are just a straight bar. You really have to be perfect and they don't have a lot of room for forgiveness. These swivel ones that they've put on all these trailers make it a million times easier to use the hold back. Brush box on the door. Some people will swap this out for a tack door organizer, but these brush boxes, just a great little junk drawer for your trailer. You know, mine collects everything. Fold up step is a must have on these trailers. You have running board on these ones, but it's so much easier to step into these tack rooms with that fold up step. So in this trailer, you'll see a couple other fun little items that she's done on this one. 
Uh, she equipped it with a rooftop AC unit, so it's a 13.5 BTU air conditioner with heat strip. So she'll be able to cool off at shows, maybe throw a bed roll up there, and take a nap without being overheated. Your Cimarron's come standard with an insulated roof, so you're already better off than most trailers. But having an AC in here will make it nice and cool and a nice place to get away. So on this wall here, you've got some bridle hooks. They do carpet behind the bridle hooks so that they've got, um, keeps, that, keeps that wall nice, nice and clean behind there. Since she has such a huge door, and I'll explain why in a second, we moved some of these bridle hooks to this wall over here. We've also got them on either side, high and low. Your saddle rack is right here. It's a four tier. Um, it's adjustable, so if, if she wanted to take these all out, she can easily grab a, a wrench and take all of these out or move them up and down. Right here, she's got her two boot boxes. They're 12 inch, they go all the way across. A little 30 amp cord in there for her AC unit. She wanted some, some D-rings here, and that's because she's gonna use this as a, as a cart horse trailer. So she has a big long cart with those long shafts that go all the way through and she'll be able to strap them down in here, thus the big door. So when we originally specking out this trailer, we we're trying to use the one on the lot. We we're talking about modifying the one that was here to have the ability to run those shafts through into the tack room. And it just, it just didn't quite work. So what our solution was, we came up with this huge door that passes through into the stall area. It clips back nice and secure while traveled or traveling so that she doesn't have to worry about it swinging closed on her cart. But if she has her cart in this first stall, she can run those shafts through without any issue and it's gonna be really, really usable for her. If she's hauling a horse in this first stall, this whole door swings shut nice and secure and then you've got a box stall. So it's a really, really cool little option here. So in the actual stall area, close this door here. Like I said, you've got kick mats going all the way up here. This door, it just becomes a part of the wall. No big deal. You've got an escape door on this side with a chest bar. Side ramp right there. So if she wants to, she can walk horses on and then straight off of this trailer or if she's got the room, she can bring her cart in, turn around, and put the shafts through there. So it's a really, really usable. I like this big door because if you're loading things into your tack room, instead of having to go up and down the step, you can open this big door and easily get things in and out without having to worry about um, going up and down that step. So I think that it's a great design for anybody that has one of these two plus ones. The lights on this trailer, they're LED Optibrite lights, so they're upgraded lights. Makes them really, really bright in here. They're a lot brighter than our standard LEDs, so we love those lights. Got two stud gates here, and those are just nice. So if you have horses, a horse in this front stall, you've got the ability to use these as box stalls. Or if she's got her cart in here, doesn't want to worry about it sliding back, then she uh, can just run these clothes and be nice and secure. Everything operates so nice and smooth. Anywhere you've got metal on metal contact, they actually end up doing some sort of plastic buffer so that it's a lot quieter for the horses. They don't have to listen to all, all the things rattle around on this trailer. So this trailer is equipped with two big feed bags for these forward-facing forward facing stalls. And we're going to take these off because I'm going to show you guys this cool divider. It's pretty easy when you're not wearing mittens. It's cold today. Got a child safety lock on this first one so, that, so if a horse is in this first stall and they're playing with it, they're not going to be able to get that popped loose. Really easy for somebody with thumbs. One of the reasons people love our two plus one trailers so much 
and we hardly ever get one here that doesn't isn't sold before it arrives is because of our our traveling divider here so what i do to set up the traveling divider it's a really quick process i just take off my chest and butt bars on this side of the trailer the butt bars don't have a child safety lock and that's because Chances are your horses are not going to be able to undo that one. This just gets this divider nice and flush against the wall. You can easily store those right in your uh, front tack room. And what I do when I move this over, I might actually take off my gloves just to make it a little bit quicker, is first I want to secure the head guard. And that's so that it doesn't uh, try and swing loose from me. There's five points of attachment, so it's a lot easier if, if everything is connected and together. So I've got five of these little AR latches that I need to open. And sometimes I do the bottoms first, sometimes I do the tops first, sometimes I do each side first. It doesn't really matter as long as you're in somewhat level ground. And then I just get kind of centered on this divider. I literally just push it over. It is so incredibly easy. You're going to reverse exactly what you did over there. And there are points, five points over here for storage. And just like this, I can make a box stall. It is so incredibly easy. Ta-da, we have a box stall. I mean, obviously you'd probably want to take these off if you don't want your horses eating them. But one person, nobody has to get out and move a heavy divider in and out. It is just amazing how easy they've made that feature. So if you're hauling three to a show and maybe only hauling two home, this is a great option for somebody that wants that flexibility. If you've got, um, four-wheelers or or side-by-sides you, you might need to make a little wider for side-by-sides but uh, toys that you play with on the weekend too this center post completely comes out if you've got to run a golf cart up through into this front one you can just take this out it's just on AR latches just like like those were and you can run things through put this back and then load your horses behind so really really awesome setup You've got drop downs at the head on each side. I have this one open. Um, they've got jail bars on them so you can easily just throw feed if you've got a horse in this box stall uh, up front. You can throw feed right into those, those feed bags. Bus windows over the hip, lots of airflow. Everything's got roof vents on it. I've had some people do, do fans for if you're in stagnant air, you're not moving. So really, really, really cool setup. This rear ramp is a rear ramp with Dutch doors over. So if you're hauling too forward facing and you want them to have additional airflow, I used to run with mine all the time, the Dutch doors open. And it is, you can get like a, a wind tunnel going through there. Um, it's amazing how much air you can move through. I don't like my horse to be hot when they travel. They like to be nice and cool. I've got one that he's a little hefty and and he likes to be nice and cool on the trailer, so I try and get him as much airflow as possible. And on these Cimarrons, it's really easy to do. So even though it's snowy today, that ramp is nice and grippy. It's uh, got a rubberized texture to it, so it makes it really easy to load those horses. This trailer's running on two 7,000 pound rubber torsion Dexter axles. On these setups, we usually do air ride. She opted to not not do air ride on this trailer. She had some other, other things she wanted instead. But usually when you see these ones on our inventory or in our lot, these V-nose with the traveling divider, almost all the time people are gonna want air ride on them. So that's usually how we set them up. Escape door window has a drop down as well. So you can check on that horse if you've got a horse in the box stall. So as I mentioned, this is a sold unit really really cool the things that she's done on this i think that 
you're gonna see some people duplicating some of her changes on this trailer. And if you wanna be one of those people that duplicates this type of trailer, you can always reference our stock number. It's 5N211535. It won't be on our website, but we can always pull the build sheets if you give us that number. You can call me. I love quoting out. These Cimarron 2 Plus 1s are my absolute favorite trailer. I think if you guys have noticed, I try and do all the videos on these 2 Plus 1s because I think they are so cool. So you can always call me. My name is Callie Say. My phone number is 970-309-6368. Thanks for sticking out with us in the cold today. I hope you guys had fun touring this Cimarron. Everybody have a great day.